Last time on Minecraft School! Wait, you're gonna take a nap? You can't nap right now. You need to tell me what's going on. I'll tell you when you get back. Get back? From what? Where am I going? I need you to go downtown. There, you'll find an alleyway. In that alleyway, you'll find a chest. Open the chest and take the items from it. Then circle back to the dorm. Then I'll be awake and I can explain everything. <sighs> okay, fine. What is it you want to talk about? Well, it is something pretty serious, and it's going to be really hard to talk about. Really? What is it? My... Uh, my... Uh, Bree? Bree! Uh, you're breaking up! I can't hear you! I... I... Uh, I... Pregnant. Now, this time on Minecraft School! Oh god, I hope Maya's awake. I have to find out what's going on. I'm so confused and terrified. My life is in danger and now I have a gun in my hand. I'm not prepared to kill anybody. I'm not a killer. I'm just like a college student from a small town. Oh god, oh, she's still asleep. Maya, Maya, wake up. What? Huh? Wake up, Maya. I found the chest and I'm very concerned. Really? Why? What was inside of it? Wait, you don't know? I thought you were the one that told me about the chest. How don't you know what was inside it? Uh, why would I know what's inside? It's not like I was the one to put it there. Well, if you didn't, then uh, who did? I don't know. All I know is you needed to get everything out of that chest. Did you? Of course I did. Uh, but the stuff inside that chest, well, let me just say, it scares the crap out of me. Really? Why is that? What was inside of it? Well, let me start with a gun! A gun was inside the chest with 64 bullets and a sword! Why would I need any of that stuff? Wow, this is more serious than I thought. What? You need to tell me everything you know right now. I would love to. I just don't know if I can. You promised after I get back, I would get to find out everything you know. Now tell me. Fine, I will tell you everything I know. Well, everything I can really think of. Thank you. Now, what's going on? I'm so confused and scared. There is a society out there. A secret society. They're the 1%. 1%? What does that mean? They are a small group of people that control the top 1% most successful people in the world. They decide who becomes rich and famous or successful. Wait, are you saying this group of people decides who will be rich and famous and successful? How? I have no idea, but all I know is that is how I got where I am. I was chosen by the society to be a successful pop star. But doesn't talent and hard work help you become famous and successful? Well, not really. It's a bit of a mix of both, I guess. But without this society, you can't be successful on your own. I'm so confused. Basically, this group of people choose who will rule the world and be successful. And they don't like to be denied. And you denied them. Wait, what? When did I deny them? I never have been approached by any of them. Think back to high school. You were offered a pro enderball contract right out of high school. That is so unheard of. Plus, you would have been rich beyond your wildest dreams. But you denied it. Are you saying the offer was from this secret group of people? Yes, and you said no. No one says no to them. You embarrass them, and they aren't happy. Well, what can I do to fix this? I don't want to be on anyone's bad side. I just denied it to further my education and have a good time. I have no idea, but I might know who might. Who? He goes by Mr. Gray. I've never met him, but he's a contract I was given. They told me to tell you to reach out to him. Who gave you his contact? That's not important. Just call Mr. Gray and he should be able to help you. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Are you leaving? I need to go before they know I'm helping you. Be safe, aviator. Wait, you can't just leave me right now. Whoa, I didn't realize you were going to have a girl over. Who is she? And what is she doing in our dorm? I don't remember you telling me we were going to have someone over. Is this your new girlfriend? Oh, Tessa, I'm sorry. It's not what it looks like. This is Maya. Uh, she's here to help me with a few things. Nice to meet. Uh-huh. I swear I saw her in your bed when I was walking across the bridge. You don't need to lie to me, aviator. I'm not, Tessa. I promise. Yeah, trust me. I have no interest in dating Aviator. Wait, what? Really? No, I mean... Uh... Both of you, just get out of here. I need to study and I don't need to watch you two make out all night. 
Tessa, we're not making out. It's fine. I'm heading out anyway. I'll keep in touch, Aviator. Wait, Maya. I have to go. Stay safe. You can leave now. Nice meeting you, Tessa. What was that all about, Tessa? It doesn't feel very good to come home and catch your roommate in bed with another girl. In bed? What? I wasn't in bed with her. Yeah, sure you weren't. I don't know why you're lying to me, Aviator. I'm not lying. I could see you across the street. I know what you guys were doing, and I don't like it. <sighs> Whatever, I'm gonna go out and get some air. Yeah, sure. God, this is my dorm too, Tessa. And you always used to have Jackson over here when I would leave to school. Don't think I didn't know about that. I don't know why you're making such a big deal about this. <sighs> God, what's with Tessa? God, I don't even have to... I don't even want to worry about that right now. I'm not even going to think about Tessa right now because I have bigger problems on my hand. <sighs> I have to contact this guy named Mr. Gray. And I don't even know who Mr. Gray is. It sounds like a very mysterious name. It sounds like kind of a scary guy if you don't... Uh, if you know what I mean. Mr. Gray. And he's going to help me? Why would he help me? And what's with the secret society? The, a society of the one percenters? So, my underball contract, was it not real? Was it not because I had talent? Or was it just because I'm some chosen guy by the 1%? None of this makes any sense to me. I thought all famous and rich and successful people just worked hard to get where they are. I didn't know they were just handed everything on a silver platter. <sighs> Plus Maya, she said she'd never date me. I know that shouldn't be a big concern of mine right now, but it kind of is. I don't know why I'm so triggered about it, but I am. And now I have to live with Tessa for a little bit. Well, for three and a half more years. <sighs> and she's all upset right now because she thinks I was in bed with another girl in our dorm that we share together. And she literally just asked me out yesterday. So I guess I can see why she's upset, but there's no reason to be upset. I told her I only want to be friends. And if she can't accept that, then I don't know if our friendship's going to work. <sighs> so many things happening right now. I just don't know what to do. I guess first on my list is call Mr. Gray, figure out what's going on with this 1% club, try to resolve things with them, and then just go on living my normal college life. Oh wait, what about Bree? She called me yesterday, about something about being pregnant. Oh, there's so many things in my mind, Maya, Tessa, Bree, and now this 1% society. God, what I need is a good two day nap. I better call Mr. Gray. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft School. If you did, don't forget to show that like button, some love and support, and also comment down below, what do you think's going on? Who are these one percenters? And guys, if you want to see more awesome Minecraft videos from me, like more Minecraft School, or my new show, Minecraft Galaxy, click any of these two videos on the screen right now. They're awesome videos. I'm sure you guys are going to love them if you love this video. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.